Bitcoin breakout is nearby. Bitcoin is currently just under 70k. The price is compressed and the breakout is nearby. Is it time to buy? Let's find it out in today's analysis. Hello people, I'm the Naked Trader and today I will analyze Bitcoin USDT, Intel Corporation, Home Depot Incorporated, Phantom USDT, Undo USDT and Ethereum USDT. If you are not a member of Team Naked Trader yet, would you be so kind to smash that subscribe button and on the way also smash the like button. And for now, let's kick off with the weekly performance of the crypto market. Overall, more red than green numbers here. Some big green ones, 57% for Core, 27.7 Pendle. 30.4% for Nervous Network, 23.5% for eCash, 24.3% for Bidget, Bidget Token, Bitcoin Cash, 15.4%, and the rest were all red ones. Doc with hat, minus 25.4%, Bonk, minus 17.6%, Floki Inu, minus 22.2 and on and from the weekly i will change to the daily today's sentiment is green as you can see 15 percent for etina 20.9 percent for nervous network 10.1 percent for Aktash, 7.3 for phantom 7.2 ordinals a few red ones 8.6 for pendle 3.5% for Flare, Bitcoin Cash minus 2. And from here, I will go to the coin market cap. Currently, a market cap of 2.59 trillion with a 24 hour volume of 58.95 billion. Uh, about 12 days for the Bitcoin halvening. And the current fear and greed index is indicated at 75, which indicates greed. And the top 10 coins are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance, Solana, Ripple, Dodge, Cordano, and Toncoin. And from here, I will kick off to the weekly performance of the stock market. Overall, more red than green ones. So sentiment slightly changing to red numbers. NVDI minus 2.6, AMD minus 5.58, Intel Corporated minus 12.36. We will dive into Intel later. Tesla minus 6.2 again. Amazon went up 2.6. Meta went up 8.6. So sentiment is changing to red. And from here, I will go to the monthly chart of Bitcoin. Last month, the highest monthly close ever. And it was 71,285. That's nice. And it tested the previous top back here, the previous all time highs. Okay. Currently a red month, but still high. I will change to the weekly. About 13 hours to close today's, uh, this week's candle. And it will be very nice if the candle can be closed above 69,013. Then there is another weekly gain. Okay. Oh, let's go back to the monthly. Okay, that's the new monthly. 
level here, 71,285. Okay. And from the weekly, I will change to the daily. Uh, what do we see? Yeah, the price is compressed. And I expect a huge breakout very soon. And I will show last week scenarios. So what's in play for now? Currently, the price is rejecting here at 69,346. That was the previous block here. It was the high, lower high, a low and a higher low. So compressing. So for now, this one is of course still in play. The test of 55,791. And this one, this scenario also still in play. The test of 52,100. And this play also still in play. Let's say breakout and we'll go around 78,000 with a pullback. The entry here around 69,000. One moment. So three. Scenarios are all still in play and from here I will go to Intel Incorporated Starting at the weekly I've charted this one In probably November 2023 The resistance here at 5183 just got front rounded Went down didn't hold support at 44.28 and now it's testing lower. So this one is still in play. Okay, what can we expect here? The test of thirty seven nineteen. And else a little lower, the test between 33.51 and 34.48. And if you want to wait for uh, another position, then I want to see a gain of the 51.83. Let's say a test of 56.20. Pullback with an entry here around 44.28 aiming for 64. So three possible scenarios for Intel Corporation and from Intel I will go to Home Depot starting at the weekly charted this one also somewhere in 2023 October this one is not in play anymore this one is not in play anymore and this one neither Okay, the entry here at 313 is still in play. Went a little, ho a little higher than expected, so you can also be more aggressive. The entry here at 328.15, aiming to break the all-time high. And if I change to the daily, Uh, 
Yeah, I'll go back to the weekly. The entry here uh, 35381. Also playable, aiming for the all time high. So, three possible scenarios here for Home Depot. And from Home Depot, I will go to Phantom USDT starting at the weekly. Nice, broke out of the range. And what do we see here? Weekly gain of this previous high here. And the rejection from this support levels over there. Okay, I will add some levels. And from the weekly, I will change to the daily. The 65.5 cents interesting part up here. It was the top over here, it was the start of the impulse here. Okay. So we'll change to the weekly. And we'll make a plan for the coming days. If the price continues to go up and let's say test the $1.62, then a pullback with an entry here around $1.11, trying to break the $1.62. If the price goes lower than the test of 65.5 cents, Trying to break the $1.11. And if you want to be more defensive than the play of 56.7 cents, aiming for 91 cents. And the most defensive play is the start of the impulse here, the 39 cents, but then it losing traction. We don't want to see this. So I prefer either the entry here at 65 cents or the more defensive at 56 cents. That are two nice plays. Yes, and from Phantom USDT, I will go to Ondo USDT. Starting at the daily, as there is not a long history.
I consider the 70 cent as tested over here, more aggressive at 73 cents. So the play of 61 cents, still that's still aggressive. And the more defensive play is the start of the impulse here at 46 cents. Still nice play. First target point, 31% profits. And if the price continues to go up, create a new all-time high somewhere. Then the pullback with the entry around 86 cents, aiming for higher. And be aware if it loses support here at 46 cents then it's probably not looking good and it will test lower levels yes so four possible scenarios for ondo usdt and from here i will go to ethereum starting at the monthly nice monthly close here Three thousand six hundred forty-two. That's a monthly gain of the drop off here, the three thousand two hundred eighty-one. Nice. Okay. From the monthly, I will change to the weekly. Currently a red week, price is at 3384. From the weekly I will change to the daily and make last week's plan visible. Okay. Price is looking weaker than Bitcoin still. Okay, the this one is still in play. The entry at 2857. And this one also, the more defensive play, the entry at 2618. Let's keep rejecting. And if the price goes up, then this one is still also still in play. And I would like to see a test of the 4,296 with a pullback and an entry around 3,647. So three, all three scenarios are still in play. And for now, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Enjoy your Sunday. If you have any requests, just drop it down in the comments below and I might join it in the next one. See you guys Wednesday. Latest.